what is up everyone welcome back to my channel today as you can see we're going to be working with an old wash and go and we're going to be putting it up into a high bun with a swoop now to be honest with you i haven't done a swoop since middle school so we're going to see how this goes but i'm just going to be showing you guys my little process on how i did it because this is honestly the first time i ever did a swoop with my natural hair um but yeah also, for those of you that are new, welcome to my channel. My name is Mara. Thank you so much for stopping by. We actually like to grow hair here on this channel, so make sure you guys are subscribed and make sure you hit that bell button just so that way y'all can be notified whenever I upload. But I'm not going to do too much, too much talking. We're just going to slide right into this video. Okay, so when you're working with any type of hairstyle, you always want to make sure that you add water. Water is the number one type of moisturization that you can add to your hair. And I'm also going to be using using an OG. This is the As I Am Leave In. And y'all know it's old when you can't even get the product out of the top anymore. Like it's all crustified, so you got to open it. But that's what I'll be using. I'm going to put that around the perimeter of my head or my hair. So both top and bottom. And then we're just going to brush that in and add more water as well. Another thing that I like to do since it's really difficult for me to put my hair straight into a bun or a ponytail because my roots and stuff is so thick, I actually like to do like a looser bun or a looser ponytail, add my gel and then smooth it down. For me, because like I said, my hair is so thick, this is the easiest way that I can manage doing a bun or ponytail. I can't go straight into a ponytail expecting it to be perfect because it never comes out like that like i just sometimes i get illiterate when it comes to my hair so this is the best method that works for me okay so when you have your products in and you use the gel of your choice to slick down your hairs what you want to do again brush it in for a second time and then what i actually like to do instead of using a regular ponytail holder i cut one of my elastic headbands that i used to use when i was relaxed i cut the little silver piece off and then i actually wrap that around my hair to kind of create like this puff type of thing i don't know i don't know how to explain it but this is how i used to do my hair when it was a puff or when it was shorter to make a puff um and but this is just how i do my ponytails now i don't even know if that made sense but this is how we're gonna i don't know just watch okay so once you have your makeshift ponytail your hair should be looking a little something like this next we're going to take an actual ponytail holder we're going to wrap our hair around in like a bun and then we're going to stick that actual ponytail holder on our hair to create a bun like i said this is the easiest way for me to do a top bun top ponytail type of anything i would actually have to use like something elastic that i can wrap around as opposed to using a ponytail holder directly because my roots is never laid when I use a regular ponytail holder first all right so working with the front half that is going to be the swoop we're gonna add more water again you want to keep your hair moisturized so you want to add more water it actually helps with detangling especially with old wash and goes or any type of old style and then we're gonna add more gel so that way we can slick it down All right, so once you have your gel and everything in place and you have that part straight just how you want it, you want to go back in with your board bristle brush and you just want to brush everything down. I noticed that when I brush my hair and I added more water, the more water that I use with the gel, the more my hair became wavier, which I actually really liked because sometimes it's just hard for me to get my hair to be wavy. Um, but for this swoop, it's not perfect. My sideburns is in the way. It's not looking right. Um, but this swoop actually took me quite a few tries because I was having a hard time just trying to secure it in place and trying to figure out what was the best way to secure it in place. But I think as a beginner, this is it's kind of cute. It's not my normal swoop, but it's cute. But once you have that swoop in place, you can accessorize it however you want. After I finished my swoop and I added my clips, I just did my edges. And like I said, don't mind my sideburns. They sticking out just a little bit too much for me. But this is actually how it came out. Guys, I do hope you like this video. I do hope you kind of found it cute too. But please be sure to subscribe and I will see you in my next one.